Hello developers, in this video we are going to build this reaction button with flutter from scratch and when you will click on this reaction button it will be liked and when you will long press on it it will show you the reactions with some cool animation and you can accordingly react on it and you can use this reaction button anywhere in your flutter application like a button so let's build it. Recently I created a poll and most of the people voted that they want tutorial from scratch. That's why I am going to create this project from scratch. So let's create a new flutter project and it will be of type application and this is the destination folder and I will name it as flutter reaction. And on this main.dart let's remove everything and write from scratch void main run app and const my app and uh, let's create my app it will be of type stateless widget so i'm using this snippet if you want you can install that from extension section and uh, my app and let's import the material dot dart so that there is no error yes and uh, here instead of this container we need the material app and uh, first thing is to check false debug banner false and uh, another thing is let's give a title and i will call it uh, reaction the demo in the home of this let's give a home page and we will home we will create home page later and uh, later let's just create now not later home page dot start and it will be of type stateful widget so i'm again using snippet to create stateful widget home page and again let's remove this unnecessary import and import the material dot dart and here return the column oh sorry not column scaffold first we need scaffold and inside the body of scaffold uh, give the center because we want everything in center and in the child of center give a column and children let's leave it empty for now and uh, let's go back on main.dart and import this home page and add a const here to remove this warning now our main.dart file is ready we need to design this home page so before that i would like to run this application so that we can see the changes in parallel so i'm going to run it on my linux machine if you are using on android or ios it might look bit different but that's okay and uh, let me adjust my screen for the application so here will be my system and here is the application there is nothing on this application because we have just used column on scaffold that's why there is nothing on it so what we need we need a like icon in the center of this application so in, in the column so for making it center let's give main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center and here uh, give a icon and it will be uh, i think it is already there in my clipboard so i am using it icon icon start thumbs up of lt rounded but we need to make it clickable so let's wrap this icon with something called ink veil in flutter so wrap with widget ink veil and on ink veil we have two things that is there are many things but we are going to use two things that is first on tap for simple like and second one will be on long pressed for the reactions option now we are quite ready with basic setup let's create something that is called the reaction so reaction there will be like if you want to add four or five reaction element like laugh angry happy uh, favorite then you can use many but for now i am going to use only three reaction so i am going to create a new enumeration class and there is there are three elements like laugh love and one is none for the default status like when there is no reaction selected so that will be none so if you want to add here angry or anything you can add and you can make it long and let's create a state variable like for a default reaction so reaction and 
reaction is equal to default status will be reaction dot none and uh, we will uh, show reaction on just top of this icon so if something like called a reaction view is true then we will show that if that is not true we will not show so for that we need to create a boolean called reaction view and by default it will be false and here in the column if there is a reaction view then we will show something uh, a container so if reaction view we will show a container uh, let's give a comma here if the reaction view then we will show the container and let's give some height and width so i'm going to give height of 40 and uh, width of uh, let's say 130 or we can give it 120 and uh, let's give it some decoration box decoration or what we can use yes we can use box decoration and uh, let's give it a color of gray and uh, let's make it visible by clicking on this on long press because once user will long press on it then the reaction should be visible so that is why i'm writing here as set status sorry set state and uh, here reaction view is equal to true so let's long press on it and you can see now this is visible uh, but we can give some rounding and some light color so on the container uh, in the box decoration let's give some light color so shade 300 and uh, let's give a, it a round border radius so border radius dot circular and 50 and you can see it is now nicely looking so but we don't have any option to again hide this so what technically it should be when user will long press this should show and when user will click any of the reaction available here or this button itself it's uh, if user clicks on reaction then that reaction should be activated if user again clicks on this same icon this like icon uh, then it should uh, turn off this pop-up so we have to write here some condition so i'm going to write that and I will explain that you what I just written. Okay, so I just wrote this. If reaction view means this reaction pop-up is enabled, then we have to just simply make this reaction pop-up false. If that is not the case, then we are clicking on this icon. Then if reaction icon is none, means initially it is uh, what's a black uh, like icon means uh, no reaction is selected then we have to make it as like means uh, on normal type it should be liked no reaction view but if there are some already reaction selected then on clicking on it it should be disabled means that reaction should go on away that's why here is the last else statement for reaction is equal to reaction dot none so that is on tab and here we are setting the state and uh, also uh, now let's uh, test it yes now on long pressing it is coming on single pressing it is going and on single pressing it is liking but uh, we don't have anything to view it so instead of uh, generating uh, instead of writing here a simple icon because now we need dynamic icon here because if reaction is something selected uh, let's say uh, uh, love or laugh then that icon should show here so just remove this icon and we will create a function called get get reaction icon or something uh, get reaction icon yes get and here we will pass the reaction that variable we have created reaction and yeah that's it uh, just let's create this reaction i'm going to create and i will explain okay i just created this reaction get reaction icon function it is taking the current reaction like the reaction from here and based on the reaction state it is returning the icon so if reaction is like then it is returning the like icon with blue if the reaction is love then it is returning the favorite icon with red and similarly for laugh and in default means no reaction is selected then it is returning this uh, black like icon like thumbs up like icon but no color here 
so this is for getting the reaction icon so now let's test it so uh, if i will click on it it will be liked and if i will long press on it it will show the uh, reactions but that we need to implement and if i will again click on it in this status if i will click on this the like icon it will close the pop-up so yeah now our next step is to show the list of reaction elements here so for that we need to create a list of icons that we can show as a list inside this container so we need to go here like uh, in the container and inside the child of this container uh, we need to add a list and we will show the list of reactions but for that we need a list of reactions with icons so let's create a class uh, you can say this will be a type of data class so let's create a class called reaction element so it will take reaction and icon and uh, based on this reaction and icon we will show the reaction and icon in the list that we will show in the container so now we have class so let's create a list of items called reactions so let's add a list of reaction element here and on each reaction element we have reaction and icon so i just added few reaction elements and this reactions is a list of reaction element that contains reaction and a corresponding icon so we will uh, we will show all these reactions in the this container in a list so because we are also going to show some cool animation like when user will long press on it this container the reactions in this container should come with some animations so for that we are going to use this flutter staggered animations package so let's add this package in dependency and you can run flutter pubgate or click on this icon on vs code and uh, i'm going to use the code snippet given here so we need this list view dot builder for all the icons let's copy it so in the container child of container yes here in the child of container we need this list view dot builder let's import this flutter staggered animation package so basically what this package will do uh, it will create a nice animation when i will long press on it so element will come with some fade animation and slide animation so let me show you uh, instead of giving your list child i need first icon button so that user can click on each reactions icon button on pressed leave it for now and yes here on icon we can give the reactions index dot icon and yes and you would be surprised like why there is only one icon coming so i am telling you why that is the case uh, because this list view dot builder is by default uh, is uh, on vertical axis so let's change this scroll direction to horizontal axis dot horizontal so now you can see all the elements and uh, so here uh, what is this vertical offset doing so when you will press on it you see elements are coming with some animation uh, but we are getting some error because this item counts is 100 so let's give it reactions dot length and restart it and you can see now all the elements are coming from bottom like from this level to up but uh, we don't want a 50 for each of the items you can see the the 50 uh, for all the items that's why this like item itself like item itself is coming from bottom so we want something dynamic like like icon should come little from bottom and this heart icon should come more from bottom and this laugh item should come more from bottom that's uh, so that it will look more like curvy animation so for that instead of giving this a fixed vertical offset let's give it something like 15 plus index into 15 index into 15 so now what will happen when index is initially 0 then for the like it will only take 15 like it will come from little bottom and when index is 1 like for favorite or heart icon it will take as 1 so 15 plus 15 it will be 30 so it will come from more bottom and for the similarly for the laugh one if it is index is 2 so 15 into 2 30 plus 15 45 so it will come from more bottom 
so it will now look curvy so let's see long press and you see uh, now it is coming like curvy animation and you see simply we've just implemented but it is not complete you once you will click on this nothing will happen because we need to implement this on pressed so on pressed only we need to do two things set state and uh, reaction is equal to this thing reaction index dot reaction reaction is equal to reaction index dot reaction and set reaction view uh, not here reaction and here reaction view is equal to false because once user will select any of the reaction that pop-up should go away and uh, let's test it so now the reactions are here i will click on this love reaction and you can see now it is love reaction laugh it is coming as a laugh this is like and if you will simply click on it it will be liked but there is one thing that we can improve you see on long pressing this there is a ui shift layout shift this like button uh, button is going down so to prevent that we can use something if this is if reaction view then there is a container so we can use side box with same height and width and uh, in the else of this so that there is no layout shift else const side box and same height and width let's give a comma here and now you see I, if i will click on it the reactions are coming select anything no layout shift cool so it is looking nice and we have successfully implemented and you see the code are not more than 150 line so you see like how easy it is in flutter to implement reactions view with some cool animation and if you don't want like uh, you can say that uh, you are using this external package but if you don't want this animation then you can just uh, remove these things uh, just copy things from this icon button uh, copy it and remove everything from here st uh, staggered list remove everything and just paste your icon and yeah you are now also good but you will not get that cool animation so now if i will long press on it i will see the reactions i can select it but it is not looking that awesome that it was looking with animation so with the help of animation package you can make it more beautiful so let me go back to animation yes and restart it and if you are pro developer then you can create these animations manually like without using this package itself so you can also do that and uh, here uh, you might face some problem uh, using this uh, reaction button anywhere on screen so because here we have empty space that's why we can show this pop-up and list of uh, reaction elements but what if you are using this uh, reaction button on a card or something where do you don't have space so in that case you can use something called stacked so you can use this thing that is here on if and else so on your top of layout this will come as a pop-up so that is another thing that you can follow if you want to reuse this uh, reaction button on anywhere else so yeah that was all about this reaction button in flutter and it was quite simple and i explained you everything and if you still have any doubt you can write down in the comment and i would like to replay all those and if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to TDLPers.